Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a beautiful day in the Lord so far. I wanted to come on today to talk to you about something uh, that I've been noticing for a very long time. And um, it's about fear, you know, fear of the end times and channels that we watch on YouTube and, you know, people that we subscribe to that are specifically prophecy update oriented channels and prep channels. And I myself have subscribed to many of these channels since I began on YouTube, I think maybe 2011, my ministry. And um, I remember myself rotating from, you know, I would see a, a notification pop up that somebody I subscribed to, you know, just uploaded a video and then I would watch it. And, um, and then I started noticing that every little event that happened in the, and was put out in the news, that they would take that event and link it to the apocalypse and then do a video on it. And with all this, um, let's say, it was, they were connecting these events to the apocalypse and that how it was spoken in the Bible and that this now is affiliated with that, okay? So I noticed all of these channels were doing the same thing and they would use these little events that happen in the world you know an earthquake over here a cyclone over there um a big hurricane that destroyed this over here and you know and hook it to the end times and then put that um that in their title of their video to draw you in from your own curiosity to see what's happening next and how it's getting closer to the end days. And then they, you know, they'd break for and, and sell you some gold and connect it to an EMP attack or a nuclear war attack. And, you know, all these things, you could be walking right with the Lord, but if you're watching these things day in and day out, they're going to erode your peace, people. It's going to erode your peace. It's going to come up against what the Holy Spirit is trying to give you, the fruit that the Holy Spirit is trying to implant in you. It's, go, it's, it's, it's going to thwart it at some point and you're gonna lose your fruit. And you know, I don't listen to these people anymore. It's not that I don't uh, unsubscribe to them, but I just, I just see that they've been doing it for a decade now and we're still here. We're still here. I personally have gone through um, maybe two rounds of prep food because the expiration date had gone. And, um, you know, you can only keep canned things for so long and then they, they don't taste good anymore. You know, it absorbs the, the inside of the can or whatever. And it's just, you know, I, I've, I've purchased two or three times already and got rid of what I had. And I'm not saying to not prep. I'm saying to just not go crazy with it. Because if you believe in God and that you are in in the body of Christ and you are walking with the Holy Spirit and you have a good relationship with the Lord and you have a back and forth with the Lord and you know that the Lord is going to protect you and take care of you and see and and lead you through a crisis all right then you shouldn't have to have the attitude that it's up to you completely to prepare every single little aspect of your survival so um you know i've come away from that a year ago the lord spoke the word generac to me and um, so I knew that uh, there could be an EMP. And so my husband and I purchased an all house Generac and had it installed. Now, not everybody can afford an all house Generac. I understand that. But um, it does tell me 
that we're going to be here for something, okay? And, you know, you do what you can. You know, you have some extra Tylenol, some extra, you know, uh, cough medicine, some Alka-Seltzer Plus, whatever, in case you get a cold or a flu, uh, some bandages, some antibacterial ointment, some toothbrushes, some toothpaste, you know, um, paper products, you know, napkins, toilet paper, tissues, you know, things like that. You can stock by one extra bottles of water um, and, you know, and cans of beans. You know, beans seem to last longer and rice, beans and rice. So, yeah, there are things coming, people. But you can't do everything, you know, otherwise you're going to drive yourself crazy and you're going to destroy your peace. The peace that the Holy Spirit gave you that surpasses all understanding. You know, you have to be careful what you watch. And if you if you go from one video to another video and that's all you're ingesting, you know, that's what you're going to live out. See, you're going to be living that. You don't want to live that. You want to live in peace. Uh, we have here Isaiah 41.10 that says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God and I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and of love and of self-control. 1 John 4.18 says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Now, some of you are on your journey with the Holy Spirit. Some of you have a ways to go to get to that, see? And I don't want you to fall prey to those prep channels and those apocalypse channels and those watcher channels, those prophecy watcher channels. I know they're very enticing and very interesting. I was captivated by them for years, but I don't watch them anymore. I don't. Because when it's time, God will reveal it to me. And I, I don't take away what I know by not watching. Okay? The truth, the truth, you can't give it back. But you don't have to become... Well, I'll say this word, it's my mighty heavy word, but um, I'll say a, a masochist by continuing to put that fear in front of you every single day as you're walking with God. Psalm 34, 4 says, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. And Joshua 1 9 says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. If you've been on my channel, how many videos have I told you about? There's no privacy from God. Everything you think, do, and say, He's there listening, He's right there with you. Proverbs 29, 25. The fear of man lays a snare. Yeah. Yeah, the fear of man. All these channels that are pumping this stuff up to get clicks and sell gold and, and, and product. They're in business, people. They're spouting God, but they're in business. And the whole purpose there is to get you to click on that latest video that they uploaded. How many of you heard when the bomb goes down, we go up? Well, of course we're going to go up. If a nuclear bomb fell on my head, I'm going to die instantly and my spirit's going to rise. Isn't that a fact? Proverbs twenty nine twenty five: the fear of man lays a snare. But whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. We live in a crazy, chaotic world, people, that is making fear 
saw more than ever today. And everything that happens becomes enhanced and it becomes a, a fulfillment of prophecy. Everything. Listen, a lot of these people that are going in this direction four, five, six years ago, seven years ago, they were every everything that they were putting about was rapture ready. We fly soon. And um, now it's turning into prepping. See, you just left one thing and turned into another because it's not happening right now. So all the time that we were looking up, years of just looking up, waiting to fly in the sky, that didn't happen. Now we're buying bullets and beans. Are we in the next phase of the waiting process? I mean, these are things that you should consider. I mean, th th this should come to mind after so many years of going from one rapture channel, dream channel, uh, uh, prep channel, or that you can spend your life doing that. And how are you serving God doing that? Hmm? I'm just telling you, so to ease yourself, okay? To just ease yourself out of that lifestyle that you put yourself into. And um, remember that God doesn't want you to walk this earth in a straitjacket, an emotional straitjacket, looking over your shoulder, waiting for something to drop on you. He doesn't want you to live like that. No, no, not at all. All right, hang on to those scriptures, read those scriptures, ask God what you should do. And um, I just pray for everybody to have peace because if you belong to God, God's going to take care of you. Okay, that's all I have for you right now. Have a beautiful day in the Lord, people. I always want to remind you that I love you and Jesus loves you and to never forget how much Jesus loves you. Okay? Shalom.